My name is Grace, and this is DigiKeys, another Geek Moment Summer Break Edition. Thanks to our friends at Northeast Makers in Minneapolis for letting us use their makerspace for our projects. Today, I'd like to talk to you about my Circuit Playground Bike Light tutorial found on Maker.io. Um, there's simple components in this. As you can see, there's only these three. And I'll start with the Circuit Playground. This is the main component of the design. Um, it is it's very inclusive. It has a lot of different sensors on here that you can use. Um, it has microphone, a accelerometer, some capacitive touch, um, and lots of other things that you can tie into your design. Um, for my design, I was making the bike light powered by this switch and then this lithium battery. So I started by learning more about the um, NeoPixels as that's what I would use for my display. This webpage, the Circuit Playground Bike Light, offers a very in-depth explanation of how you can code the RGB color codes or the hexadecimal numbering system. So I used hexadecimal pretty much just calls out what percentage of red light you'd like, what percentage of green, and what percentage of blue. You're going to have to begin by downloading the Arduino IDE from arduino.cc. So, I'll begin talking you through the code a bit. Now you can begin uploading some of these sample codes from the project page that I mentioned previously. Um, we will take the spinner, I believe it's called. Once you have your code uploaded, you can plug in the switch in the lithium battery so that it can run without your computer. You'll be able to attach it to your bike. And at this point, you should be able to turn it on and have your code. Now you can go ahead and attach it to your bike. Um, I'm just going to use some simple zip ties, but if you're going to use it in um, different types of weather, you might want to have something more robust so your circuitry doesn't get ruined you'll see that this color display looks a lot like spring, and that is intentional. Um, in this specific temperature range, um, it should be showing your pinks and your greens and your yellows um, with the bright yellow light, because it is on a bike and you do want to be safe. Um, so yeah, there's lots of codes offered on the web page, um, simpler things that you can use as reference, as I did, um, with this application in my bike light. Um, those were very helpful. They had flashers and spinners and all different names for codes. Um, but moving forward, there's lots of different sensors that I could have tied into this project that I decided not to. Um, if you're interested in exploring that and trying this project, there are about 50 projects or more on maker.io. If you're unfamiliar with that, that is DigiKey's Maker page. Um, it'll help you walk you through some different ways you can take this circuit playground. You can get this board for $20 from DigiKey, and for all it offers, it'll give a novice like me a perfect opportunity to learn Arduino's IDE or just programming in general, and it did just that. Um, I'm not done exploring with this. There's you know, five or more very useful sensors on here and different capabilities that I would be very interested in tying to something maybe larger than a bike light. I could see using this in my biomedical classes or applications. Um, maybe you put this on your patient's leg and the accelerometer will blink if they are moving too fast, if they're elderly or, you know, a number of things. But, yeah. Now let's go enjoy our project. So now let's go and ride bikes safe. Now <laughs> let's go practice some more programming. <laughs> and now let's go ride our bike around fabulous Minneapolis. If you haven't checked out Noah's skateboard video on Maker.io, please do. All right, let's ride. All right, let's get to it. Thanks for watching.